So what's up guys, have you ever wanted your pictures to come out really really nice after doing a photo section or you want your picture to actually stand out and like have your particular style? Don't worry, in this video I'm going to be sharing my top 3 secret tools I use inside the program called Photoshop. If you're really a professional, I don't think this video is for you because I'm taking baby steps. I'm going to explain it slowly and to make sure you actually understand it i'm not going to go the professional way i'm just going to show you how to actually like get the right color grading or i'm going to be showing you how to use the tool and probably how you can actually play with it to get your own style my name is Adimola. i love taking creative pictures you can actually check me out on instagram check out my wonderful works and you could also check out my past videos on youtube don't forget to hit the subscribe button and probably like this video if you actually like it please share to others make sure they actually like learn something to do Color grading is just like changing the mood or the feel of probably your image or to probably tell a story. So why do we color grade? Why do we have to color grade? Number one is to tell a story. We have to color grade to tell a particular story of that image we are trying to tell people, oh, this is what this image is talking about. Imagine you take an image of um, someone on that song. You actually make the image look more warm so you are telling them that oh we took this image under the sun that's just like the simple example i'm going to give you number two is to make things pop most of the time once you take picture especially with your dlsr camera it does not really give that image it does not really pop that image well you just have to come to editing and make it look nice and pop out and people see that oh this is an image and the image is speaking to them color actually do a lot of things to make your image better and number three is to make it look professional it means your brand looks more professional people be like this person actually know what he's doing so let's jump to our screen the first two we're going to be talking about is the gradient map the gradient map is so nice because it's going to help you actually generate lots that you can actually use for skin i basically use this for only skin that's all so let me show you what you are going to do so the first thing you do is actually go to this adjustment layer and go to your gradient map so you click on your gradient map now you have to like listen to the settings so that you're able to get this the first thing you want to do is go to your opacity and change it to 50 then come to your normal and change it to soft light very easy then what you have to do is come over to your properties double click on it then what you have to do is change your type to noise and your smoothness to around 8% you can actually do what you want to do now our main focus is going to be the skin to be honest let's just leave other things alone then what i'm going to do is actually random nice just click on it now this is actually nice for your skin if you look at it this is good you can actually check for more i mean this is also nice let's go for this or well, let's just check for more <laughs> it's actually fun uh let's look for i can't see anyone but back to the same thing so let's just go for this or we should go for the other one let's go for that other one i will see it now let's just look look mm, now let's continue changing let's go this is it let's go for this so i'm going to click on ok now how do i max it on our skin alone so you come to your layer underneath here come over to this two your selection two and come over to object selection two this is actually the best way allow photoshop scan the image so that you can actually like select each part of the skin which makes it easy now you can see that photoshop has selected the skin manually sorry automatically so what i'm just going to do is click on shift so i will able to select the neck then what i'm just going to do next is come over to this max tool click on max and what you're just going to do is drag this max to the gradient map and click yes replace layer max now we have only this cloth on the skin photoshop actually did this for us so you can come over to this place. if you realize it did not select a nose we made a mistake so what you can do is come over to your brush tool make sure it is on white and make sure your opacity is on zero on 100 sorry and what you have to do is just paint over it so it does a mistake Make sure you're, you're on the layer, obviously. Make sure you're on the layer and just paint over it. Sorry, it's on black. Make sure it's on white. Hold on, mistake. So, I'm just going to paint over it. This is one way you can actually make your image pop. You can still come over to the opacity if it's looking a bit weird. 
because it's looking weird i'm still going to like reduce it just a bit just something like this and if you see this is the before and after before and after mind you this image is not retouched yet this is the raw image that's why it's looking like this is our face is not looking that smooth but yes like the before and after you get the point it's just the color grading we are doing for now we made our skin go from this to this it has a little bit of color thanks to photoshop that help us to generate our lots you don't have to go and start paying for lots you don't know about so the next one is going to be our channel mixer which is actually in photoshop but in camera raw so let's go into it so what i'm just going to do i'm going to click on let's just leave this this is actually nice let's leave this color grading and let's click on shift option command e so now that we have our new layer so what i'm just going to do is come over to this layer then come over to filter and come over to camera raw filter so we're going to come over down here to the color mixer which is here now the color mixer is divided into two if you're a beginner don't be confused this is actually easy now that it's divided into two what you just have to learn is this three then i'll come to the next one to actually make you understand so on this mixer make sure you understand what luminance saturation and hue usually do now i'm going to explain luminance actually like take the color and increase the brightness of a particular color or it reduces the uh, particular color brightness so let me show you for example our prominent color here is actually this purple this purple is shouting so if i increase it you can see that it's increasing the brightness of the purple if i reduce it it's taking the purple down so the color mixer is quite easy know the color in your image and play with it don't overdo saturation usually increase the density of a color and take it very high i mean it can actually spoil your image if you're not careful with the saturation so let's go back to the purple of the saturation and increase it you can see that it's taking the colors intensity very high so let me put it back let's go to our skin so you see the orange this is for our skin so let me take it high you can see that it's actually increasing only the orange in the picture and is taking it high it's increasing the intensity <laughs> of the color in that image so i'm just going to take it back now what does the eel do eel we have the red if you take it to this side you can see that it's only touching the red in the picture and if you see it's mostly like the lipstick and the eye lashes brow or what they call it i don't know but if you see it's only affecting that place so you can add more color to that and actually it's helping the makeup to be honest if you go to purple you can change your purple to kind of another color see you can change your purple to different purples if you check out this particular chart you can actually see what color it changes to so if you have red it goes to different colors you can actually change it to is that easy so the perfect way to use this mixer channel is actually to play with it but with the colors in your image now not to get you confused the best way is to use the picker tool now this picker tool will actually pick the particular color you want to your image and play with them so instead of going through all the colors and start playing for uh, which one is in the um, image which one is not in the image is actually stressful so just use this picker tool let's know that i want to change the purple with the eel panel i'm going to pick the picker tool and just check what it does on the eel panel so i'm just going to like increase this you can see that it's only changing only changing the particular color you're actually picking that's why this picker tool is actually good so if you're going to be using the mixer channel make sure you use the picker tool it's very important it makes it easier for you and learn how to mix color another thing you can actually do is come to this point color this point color is actually doing the same thing from that picker tool but it's quite sweet so let's say i want to increase the color on our skin a little bit i'll come over to this sample point color and just pick the particular color i want to change then i can come to the saturation and just increase it a little bit or reduce it or increase the brightness of that particular color or reduce it or change the hue let's say i want to give it a particular kind of look i can actually change it or move it 
So that's why the pointer color is actually good. The last part of the tool we are going to be talking about is the color grading tool. But here's like the short thing you just need to know about the color grading tool. So the first thing I want you to know is actually to understand what the main tones, the shadows and the highlights, what do they do? So for the shadows, the shadows are actually like the darkest part of the image, the darkest color part of the image. That's what the shadow does. Why the highlight is the brightest part of the image. Highlight is like probably the lights that are shining on our forehead. Just just highlights. Highlights is, is quite explanatory. It's just the like, brightest part of any image. Then when it comes to the main tones, main tones, let's let's just take example for the main tones. The main tones is like a shiny field. When you have a shiny field, the shiny areas are like the main tones. That's what the main tone does. You are going to see an example of what I'm trying to talk about. So let's see what the main tones actually do here. So we have we have the main tones over here. So let's increase the color of main tones or let's take the brightness. And let's talk about the sliders under each of this panel. So what do they do? Is actually increasing the brightness and the darkness of that particular color. So let's see. This is the mid tones. When I say the mid tones are like the shiny part of the image, you can actually see it's only the shiny part of the image. And when it comes to the shadows, it's only the darkest part of the image. And when it comes to the highlights, it's the brightest part of the image. Here's an example of what the mid tones can actually do. Most of the time, I take my mid tones to the orange or probably yellow. See, it depends on the feel you are trying to get. If you are trying to get the warmer vibe, this is what I actually use for my portraits. So I take my mid-tones to a bit of yellow and my shadows, I can take it to um, probably deeper orange, not too much, just increase it a little bit. Now we are actually trying to give that warm vibe. Then I'll take my highlights to blue, just a little bit. So the highlights will be just bluish a little bit. Now you can see that we have that kind of warm vibe of the image already. It's like the before and after. So let's say we want to go for a cooler vibe. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my windows to my mean tones to blue. Just hold on. I'm going to take my mean tones to blue. Then these my shadows. I will leave it on this orange a little bit, increase it, and just probably take it to yellow. So it helps the skin mostly, just like this and take this highlight down. Now, I'm just giving that cool vibe. Don't get it complicated, it's quite easy. And most of the time, read your color palettes. We know what color actually goes together and watch movie a lot. I watch movie, I'm probably taking a screenshot and look at the color and see, oh, did they impute green in this? If you're a type that you take cinematic shots, you play with colors a lot. But for simple portrait like this, you don't do too much with the color reading too. You just want the skin and the outfit and the background to pop up. That's just it. And that's all about the tools I use in Photoshop to color grade my image. It is quite easy if you play with them. No matter how you want to, you can learn color grading in one day, in two days, in one month. You just have to play with it. Every picture you snap is an opportunity to actually play with your color grading tool and get the best image out of it. Don't depend on people presets. Help me subscribe to this channel, like, so you also motivate me to post every week. It has not been easy, but just like, share, subscribe, and just show love. And you know what? I will see you in my next video. Bye.